Ooh, free stuff. And the hatchet. Nice, let's go. So guys, I was I was just about to do my intro, to be honest. I was going to stand up on one of these rocks and, uh, you know, I'll pull my rock out, do the old typical intro that we usually do. But that just happened, of course, so that's when I'm going to start the video. Uh, we can craft a sleeping bag. One of the biggest tips I'll give to you guys when you're starting on a fresh wipe is that you should try and craft a sleeping bag and choose an area as quick as possible because... Because, you know, you don't want to be one of these nakeds that just keep spawning on the, on the beach, farming a spear, getting into a spear fight, dying and having to restart. Like, y your first aim should be to get away from them spawn points. So, I'd say always, like, choose a location where you want to live. I, I would kind of want to live around here, to be honest, because I do like the sewer branch. I like the Oxfam's gas station. And I also want to stay near the uh, water so that we can go out and get a boat and uh, be able to get components and stuff. Plus, there's no launch site or anything on this map, so there's not really a good place to live, to be honest. But yeah, uh, it's, it's better to run to a place and then get a sleeping bag down and then that's kind of like your selected area so that you don't have to like keep, uh, you know, trying to run back there. You just respawn there and if you die, then at least you've still got the area. Okay, I'm going to call that. There we go. Alright, uh, well, I guess we're going to get a nice little start. You know, it's been lucky so far. Hopefully the rest of the wipe is this lucky. I asked you guys, like, if you wanted to see my wipe from start to finish, or would you prefer to see just, like, the highlights, like, the PvP, building the base, etc. And a lot of you guys surprisingly said that you want to see more of the wipe. And a lot of people also said that they missed when I actually have conversation with you guys. Because recently I haven't been talking to you guys, like, personally in the videos. Like, you know, addressing you guys and trying to have a conversation, even though, you know, it's not live. And a lot of you guys said you missed that, and, uh... And that should bring it back so that I'm going to start trying to speak to you guys more, ask you questions and try and interact more. Because recently I've been doing a lot of, uh, you know, just talking when I'm doing something in games. So like, so like I'd explain what I'm doing, like if I'm getting into a fight, I'd be like hit once. Or if I'm building a base, I'll, I'll just like speak about what I'm building. But I haven't had just a conversation with you guys for such a long time. So if you guys missed the post that I posted about that, let me know down in the comments what you'd prefer. I'm going to try and talk more, but obviously if you guys would prefer that, it'd be nice to uh, get your approval on that down in the comments. But yeah, I know I said I'd talk more, but I don't really want to ramble on for the entire video. So let's get this started. Let's try and get a base down. And hopefully we can get a good wipe. Wait, is this a is this a free base? Okay, it's empty. Uh, hmm. We should probably craft a door to put on here. Where is it? The door and a lock. Okay, we got that one there, but we probably wait. There's not even a lock on it. Shit, somebody's here. Over there. Shit, we better hide. Wait, there's not even a lock on the base. What is? What even is this? How can? How can somebody leap? I don't understand, honestly, like, I don't understand if the door had been open and someone went deep on the base, but this actually looks so scripted with being just lucky twice in a row now. We're only going to need a key lock rather than a, a door and a key lock. I was just going to put a door on this triangle here, but luckily that wasn't the case though, but, um, okay, free base. Uh, let's put some stuff in the TC, get this place fixed up. I don't even understand how this base could become like this. Like, you know, stone walls take five hours to decay and it's already down to 100 HP, which means it's probably been like three to four hours. So how has somebody not come and snag this base up in the past three or four hours? It is beyond me. Uh, maybe it's because we're in a little bit of a weird area, like we're just in the middle of nowhere. But as you can see, we're quite near a road. We need the sewer branch and the gas station. So it's not like it's in the middle of nowhere near nothing. Like if it was like over here, I might understand. I'm guessing it's just our lucky day. We actually do have blueprints on this server. Um, I'll quickly show you guys. Uh, we don't have a lot of them, but we have a few that are definitely going to be helpful. As you can see uh, already here, we've got the Python revolver without even uh, showing you guys. You know, we've got into tools. We don't have the hatchet, but we've got the pickaxe. I do prefer to research the pickaxe over the hatchet anyway, so I'm glad we've got that one rather than the hatchet. Medical, you know, we've got medical syringe, everybody, you know. Everyone needs medical syringes, it's a very nice blueprint to have. Um, weapons, this is our most stacked page. We have Python, as you guys already know. We have Bean Can. You know, we don't have Satchel yet, but at least we're like halfway there. We don't have to find the Bean Can and Satchel. We only have to find one of those. 
Then we've got the revolver, we've got flamethrower, we've got semi, and we've got a double barrel shotgun. I did play on the server last week. Uh, you guys probably saw it on the channel. I did a trio survival with my friend Chez and Saul, and we've got both ammo, the you know, pistol bullets, and the 556, and I think that is pretty much it. All right, let's get this down and upgrade it. Let's actually grab some stone and let's just fix the walls ourselves. I don't really like them being this low because, you know, we am going to break through those easily with a couple of satchels. All right, we've got fragments cooking so we can uh, get that metal door down as soon as possible. I guess our next aim is to get the 50 scrap for the tier one. It don't take too long to get, we live right by the road, so, you know, we can hit a few barrels, open a few boxes and we should get that in no time. I'm really glad it's a moonlit night too. We can actually see what we're doing for once. Alright, we're back home. I think we should have enough for the tier 2 now, I believe. I've got 21 on me and we have 37 in there. That makes 58. We definitely have enough. Let's grab the other resources we need. We should have metal fragments by now. Oh yes, we have plenty. Uh, can we craft a tier 1? Yes, there we go. We can also craft a door, which is what we need for the front door, so nobody, you know, Eorka raids us or flame raids us. We've got the workbench already, that's pretty good. Uh, we've also got a decent amount of components from uh, what we gathered whilst we was collecting all of those. What does it cost for a revolver again? Uh, one metal pipe, 25 cloth and 125 metal fragments. So we can already pretty much craft revolvers and then we can also craft pistol bullets. So we pretty much skipped the bow age. We have, I haven't even crafted a bow yet. And we're already going to be crafting revolvers. Normally when I record these series, I make like several episodes of me still using balls and crossbows. And, you know, and then this while we've managed to completely skip past the bow age. But anyway, the workbench is done. I don't want to actually put it anywhere. I want to put it there, to be honest, right at the bike. Let's pick this up. Let's empty this. And we should be able to move that. And then we should be able to squeeze that in there, right? Yes. Perfect. Let's also pick those up, because we're going to put the furnace in front of the tool cupboard. We should also, you know, I know you guys are already going to be commenting about this, me not locking the TC. I will do that now. Let me craft, uh, let me craft the key lock for you guys. We can also craft a chest, which is what we need, so we're going to put that in here too. Instead of using those small ass chests. And then we're going to change the second door. And we're going to put a metal door down instead. Alright, place that and lock it up. And now we're just waiting on this large wooden box. Things have worked out amazingly for us this wipe. This is probably one of the quickest, best starts that I've had to a solo wipe in a long ass time. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got done so far. Well, look at us already, guys. It's been like half an hour and uh, we've got quite a lot done. We've already got a revolver, we've got bullets, we've got a full set of armor, we've got ourselves a ball, you know, just to. Uh, pick off people we don't want to waste bullets on. We've got decent components stacking up. Our TC is looking super juicy at the moment. And uh, yeah, it's definitely been a good day so far. The only thing that the day has really been lacking is PVP. But that's probably because we, you know, we started on the server and within five minutes we was in a base. But the, and then we've done nothing but farm animals and uh, nodes too, so. But yeah, I'm not gonna complain because we've managed to get a lot done in such a short amount of time. Hello. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Ten. I'm good, how are you? Uh, I'm not good. I can't start. Why not? Getting killed. Why? Where's Where's all the action at? Where people are people fighting? Uh, they killed me near someone. I was farming. How many was there? A lot of them. There were three. One with uh, semi pistol and two with bows. What the hell? That's a weird combination. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, you should be able to get it. It's a little bit, if you go that way over there, it's a little bit quieter. Over by the uh, shopping, the uh, gas station or whatever. Oh. I'm guessing that's them though, over on my left. Oh, there's a military kit up there. But three guys here. Which do I go for? Fight the guys or go for the crate? There's also a naked about to steal it. Let's see, those guys look like they're raiding that base. I think I'm gonna go for the crate to be honest. 
There could be something juicy in there. If it's if it's uh, junk, then we'll just head over and try and fight those guys. There is three of them, but if it's the uh, guys that that guy was talking about just then, then he said two of them have balls still, so, so it shouldn't be impossible to uh, beat those. All right, let's check these. Oh my god, they're raiding right now. Oh my god, pump here. Oh, nice. Okay, yeah, that was definitely worth it. We got a rifle body and a pump shot. Oh shit, I shot by accident. God damn. Let's get out of here quickly. We've got to be careful though, because counter raiders might attack us thinking that we're the ones raiding. Oh my god, this is not good. They're doing a big raid. We got to try and get this uh, pump shotgun home though. Also, 15 high coal, very, very nice too. We're going to need high coal when we start crafting uh, pythons and shit. Okay, we made it back. Nice, nice. I doubt that them guys had balls to be honest, so especially when they're doing a big raid. Uh, like, who's who's going to go raiding with two balls? I think they probably just use two balls on him and they have way better weapons than that because that would be very stupid of them to uh, go on a raid with balls, obviously. But at least we got our stuff back. Uh, nice little rifle body there. Probably not going to be able to use that for a long time, but who knows? We may eventually get an AK on this server. More challenging, all the rappers I'm balancing. They don't see and it's maddening. Once I blow, then I silence them. Grab the track and I spaz, yeah. Lay awake and imagine. I can't wait till it happens. I just pray that it happens.